So why be Catholic? Why come to Mass on Sunday versus praying in the woods or praying at home? Well, we read in the Word of God that Jesus Christ founded a church 2,000 years ago. He said to Peter, he said to the apostles, you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Jesus was confirming Peter. He was establishing Peter and the apostles to be the foundation stones for the church here on earth. And so Jesus Christ left us here on earth uh, a human institution, both human and divine, because he also promised that the gates of hell will not prevail against it, which is his personal pledge that he's going to protect his bride here on earth. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, they're one. One God, three persons. Because God is one, every act that he performs and every institution and manifestation of his presence here on earth is going to be one. And so when Jesus prayed in John's gospel, Father, make them one as we are one. Jesus' prayer, of course, uh, resounds throughout time to be true, to be fulfilled in his church here on earth. It's not his will that we have various churches or various denominations, so to speak. It's his will that we have one body, not many bodies, not many denominations, one body. There's one Father, there's one Son, there's one baptism, there's one faith, as St. Paul says. Here in the Catholic Church, we've been around for 2,000 years. Most other churches have a beginning, usually a beginning that is long after the establishment of the Catholic Church 2,000 years ago. When we read the Church Fathers, when we read the Apostolic Fathers and those after them, we see the structure of the Church as we see it today. We see the Holy Father. We see the sacramental life of the Church. And as St. Ignatius of Antioch would talk about, the Eucharist, in which Jesus Christ in ordinary bread and ordinary wine becomes the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And so we want to welcome you to the Catholic Church and invite you to explore more about who she is, when she was founded, who established her, and her purpose and mission here on earth. So we invite you to explore more about the Catholic Church.